The solution that they took in Andrew is as follows. Only for logging into a workstation, the username and password are used. And of course, they have to be securely communicated to the server over insecure links. We'll see how that is done. But the key point is that username and password is only used for logging in. Once a user is logged into a workstation, at that point onwards, for the rest of the login session, the intent is to use ephemeral IDs and ephemeral keys for all the subsequent Venus device communication. Recall that Venus is the process that resides on the virtual workstation acting as a surrogate for the user for file caching. And Vice is, of course, the server that is living inside a secure environment. And this Venus Vice communication happens over insecure links. That's where we're going to use ephemeral IDs and keys. So this gives rise to three classes of client-server interactions. The first interaction is logging in. Imagine you're a student and you're doing a course project. What is it that you're going to do? You're going to walk up to a workstation and log in presenting your username and password to the workstation. And this username and password is going to be used as the basis for the client-server communication that lets you authenticate yourself to the server. Now, once you've authenticated yourself to the server, what are you going to do? Well, you want to do a course project. And for that course project, you probably need to download some files from the server. And that requires that Venus that is running on your workstation establish an RPC session with the server in order to fetch the files that you need to work on for your course project. That's the second class of client-server communication, establishing an RPC session. Now, once you establish an RPC session, then you can request the files that you want as a user. As a student, you want certain files to be accessed during this RPC session. You bring those files, and once you brought in the files that you want. You can close the RPC session, work on your project locally on the workstation, and once you're done with completing whatever work you needed to do, you may establish a new RPC session to upload the results of your work back into the file server. So the three classes of client-server interactions are logging in, which happens exactly once for the entire login session, an RPC session establishment, which may happen several times during the time that you're logged into a workstation. Every time you decide, oh, I want to fetch a new file. Oh, I want to store this file back into the server. The third set of interaction is the actual file system access during the session. Once this RPC session has been established by Venus with Vice, then you as the user, you may want to work on a particular file. You may open a file. At that point, Venus will go using this RPC session and fetch the required file and cache it locally for you to use it. And later on, if you close the file at that point, Venus may commit the changes that you made to the file to the central file server again. So that's the kind of file system operation that's the third class of client-server interaction. And for both RPC session establishment and for the actual access to the file system during an RPC session, we want to use ephemeral IDs and keys.